Hello and welcome to another video of the PGN tutorial series. In this video I'm gonna um, show you and explain you how to use the PGN repair tool. Um, the PGN repair tool can be found... Uh, there are two ways to find the PGN repair tool. Either you click on the uh, normal codes and you will open the codes and you will go to the repair tab and you will uh, be able to repair the PGN or if we are talking about the old PGN, PGN 1.0, the PGN repair tool can be reached by clicking on the black uh, T uh, icon that, is, um, that you will see from now on on every old PGN. So clicking the T will bring you directly to the PGN repair tab. What we will need from you in order to repair the PGN, in order to add a PAT product uh, attribute targeting campaign and its sub uh, sub ad groups to your old PGN is just we will need to know your product price, how much you're selling the product for, we will need to know your average star ratings, we will need to know uh, the budget you want to allocate for this uh, uh, PAT campaign, let's say 100 bucks a day, and we will need to know uh, the default bid that you want to allocate to, to this product targeting ads. And again, just for example, I'm going to put two. Now, down here you have different toggles. So we allow you the choice to create, to repair your PGN with uh, or without certain uh, ad groups. So you can deactivate the addition of defense async. You can deactivate the addition of a target uh, of uh, a, this ad group, the async ad group. You can deactivate the addition of a category targeting ad group, or you can deactivate the addition of a brand targeting ad group. Again, so toggle off is the default, which we will create the campaign, we will create all the ad groups, and we will fill them. And if you toggle on, we will still create the campaign, we will still create the ad groups, but we will not fill the ad groups. The ad groups will have to be filled either left the way they are or filled manually by you. Why you would want to use this? For instance, you have a huge catalog, so you wouldn't want to uh, create a defense, a defense ad group or you wouldn't want to fill the defense ad group because you just have uh, 200,000 SKUs and it wouldn't make sense. Or you have a seller account which have more than a brand, so you would want to manually target what is specific to each brand of the product uh, for the, this PGN rather than targeting this product to all your full catalog. So in this case you will want to go um, and add it manually at the end. You wouldn't want to fill the, the brand for, again I don't have a, a, real, a real case examples over here, but basically we allow you to choose what ad group will be filled. Again, by default they are all grey, so we will create all the ad groups and we will fill all the ad groups based on our algorithm and based on what the APIs say you're relevant to. Uh, or the option is to turn the toggle off, so we will still create the ad groups so that the PGN works and the ad groups will be there for you to use, but they will be empty, we will not fill them. So you can go ahead and manually add whatever you want. Okay, now another way uh, the repair tool can be used or could be used is if you are already discussing about, um, if we have already a PGN 2.0, which is already a product targeting here, but perhaps you have changed your star rating or perhaps you have changed your prices, what you can do, what you could do, is you could go and archive everything that is in the category, everything that there is in the no brand, or in the brand ad group, and then what you could do is put a new pricing, put a, the new star rating, you will tell the system not to touch the defense, not to touch the async, and you will simply rerun uh, all your category and all your brand ad groups with the new uh, targeting with the new filters, with the new price and star rating you have over here. Um, I hope this uh, helps. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on next tutorial.